Hey guys, how's it going? Cloudy here and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Ace of Spades Exotic Hand Cannon, which as we all know is Cade's go-to weapon. So essentially the steps are in order of this. First you have to be the campaign. This is how you unlock the quest to begin getting the weapon. The second step is to get 5 Invader Hand Cannon kills in the new game mode Gambit. Now the wording is confusing so it's not invade the other team and get five kills with a hand cannon it's get five kills with a hand cannon on other players invading your arena um, the way i did it was played gambit and try to learn the spawn points and just spawn kill them as you'll see in the clip behind you but if that doesn't work then just get five kills with a hand cannon while they are invading your arena once you complete that the next step is to get 250 hand cannon kills and strikes now this part shouldn't be difficult at all just go play some strikes and get hand cannon kills prioritize hand cannon kills it takes about four to five strikes to get that part done the next step is to get 25 headshots in crucible with a hand cannon this one took me about four to five games as well i played with the fire team we kind of coordinated and helped each other body shot and headshot but solo play maybe six or seven but just play crucible focus hand cannon headshots and you should have it in no time once you complete this step, the next one is to find Cade's caches that spread out around the world. Now the thing, if you are not watching a video on it, it says the four locations, but since you're here, let me go ahead and show you where they are. In the background, I'm just going to be basically just showing it off in speed mode. So I shortened the clip, that way the video would be a lot shorter. So just pay attention to the video, and if you need to watch it again, then you know just rewind it, and then you can... Um, figure it out it's, it's not like really really hidden but I think I showed it off pretty well in the video so once you get all four of the Cade's caches you then get a, another mission which is the last step this is gonna be to complete the mission ace in the hole now it is a bit of a long mission so I didn't want to include it in this video but if you want to find the link to the full video and all of the chest locations that you have to find within the mission I left a link in the description below and uh, you can go check that out if you are lost and you need help with it. If not, go complete the mission. You have to do it solo, so you can't do it in a fire team. I'd recommend playing that mission out with audio on. You'll understand why. But pretty cool mission. And then once you complete that, then you go back to Banshee in the tower, and he will give you the Ace of Spades exotic hand cannon. And from there, it's yours. Now, what is the hand cannon? Rather, what perks does it have? Well. Alright, and the hand cannon comes with a few preset perks, so no random rolls, it's an exotic. The first one being the Memento Mori. Reloading after a kill loads magazine with a few extra damage bullets and it grants radar while aiming down sights. Now this is a very strong perk within itself because once you get a kill and reload, you get essentially a kill clip, but an exotic version of that, where the first six bullets you'll fire out of the gun will be extra damage bullets. And unlike kill clip, is not restricted to a time limit so for example if you let's say you get a headshot you reload the gun you have the six memento bullets procced you can switch weapons go kill a bunch of ads for like five minutes as long as you don't like die or leave the area and then switch back to your ace of spades and those six bullets will still be there that's essentially how that works so that's very cool and that it stays well and has very powerful bullets if you're fighting the right type of ads if you're I guess if you're fighting high level enemies that you're under rank for it might not be the best but for low level enemies it destroys it it's, it's amazing next up we have corkscrew rifling which slightly increases range of stability as well as slightly increases the handling speed followed by high caliber rounds and firefly now firefly um, the way that one works is precision kills with this weapon increase reload speed and cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage to nearby enemies. So this gun and the perks go hand in hand. You get a precision kill, not only do you proc Firefly and it does extra damage, it reloads faster and then when you reload the weapon you then get the exotic perk which then gives you extra damage and you just kind of keep going back and forth and back and forth. And it is a really awesome hand cannon, definitely my favorite that I've ever used. Especially in Destiny 2. Um, it was a good gun in Destiny 1. But if you never played it, then I guess you wouldn't know. But Destiny 2, Ace of Spades is an amazing hand cannon. I'm going to be using it as much as I possibly can. It sounds good. It looks good. Especially if you 
got the pre-order bonus for the DLC and you get the Ace of Spades um, exotic catalyst, not catalyst, I'm sorry, the ornament. And that makes it look very cool. So that is how to get the Ace of Spades. Again, I left the link to the full mission in the description below if you are lost on that. But yes, that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Later.